Today on Edge Screw Reviews, we'll be having a look at the NECA Terminator 2 3D T800 figure. Now, I don't know what the name for this is because it's kind of confusing with the 3D and the. It's just very confusing, but here's what it looks like at the front of the box. Uh, the bottom of here has does have this chrome look to it, so it looks pretty nice. The top of the box looks like that. And it's not chrome up here, but still it says the name of the figure. It still has that same look at the logo right there on the side of the box. A read-up of the figure on the back of the box. There's a couple images. Same image over here. And then product development and all that on the bottom. So we will come back with this open. Here's the figure out of the box. Get a little closer here. Maybe aim the camera down. So first off, he does get an alternate head, that of which is this. It's the standard head without the glasses. Just the standard Arnold head. And then he does come with the 1887 Winchester shotgun. And the pistol. And of course, the special little flower box. And it does open. This is cardboard, so you might want to be careful with this. It's very shiny. And then the figure comes with this head. Looks nice. Here is a little bit look at the jacket. This time he has the black shirt at the beginning of the film. Cut a leg toward the Pescadero escape. Detail on the pants. The boots. I think that's supposed to be painted, but they didn't paint them on here. But not a big complaint. Some more detail. Hands. Back of the jacket. Zoom out. The articulation on this is just like the other ultimate figure. He has a ball joint that had the arms go in and out, you know, forward. They bend, swivel. Hands are on a ball joint as well. He swivels at the waist. No ab crunch, but the legs do have articulation. We're taking in and out, forward, back, and the knees bend too as well. And the feet have a ball joint in them. And so we'll learn everything. I will say this, whatever they have done with this figure, his articulation and everything, his movement, you don't have to like mess with him a lot because he's already nice and loose on the figure, so you're not gonna end up breaking anything. Like usually you're getting or I don't know if it's just this version, but I don't think it is. So I'm gonna try and display him with the shotgun. I do think this figure is worth getting. Uh, first, I wasn't going to get him until I realized that he is nothing like the Battle Across Time figure. There's a lot of differences. First off, the hands and then the jackets. But the legs I didn't really care about. But that was another bonus about getting this other figure. You can also uh, display him with the other head. There's a lot of great detail on this. I picked up a lot of figures today if you see all my haul video. 
So now I'm going to swap out this with the pistol. Now when he's holding the pistol, uh, with this figure, his hand, for some reason, the reason it's sculpted is it's kind of sculpted, like here's the hand, but the way the arm, or the hand, actual hand, is sculpted downward, so you kind of have to hold it upward, but that doesn't look right when shooting it, especially at this close uh, to his face, so I don't know why you'd want to, maybe, because that just doesn't seem correct to me, maybe. Uh, I don't know, just compared to the other ones, it doesn't look right. More he'd have his hand like that far. But when he's holding it, it looks fine. Especially like this. Or it kind of looks like he's re reloading it. Like this. But he does also... I'm going to go ahead and put on the other head sculpt. Because that's what I'm going to do with this figure. He does, again, since he comes with this, you can display him with that and the shotgun. Uh, it's kind of hard to do. I haven't figured out how to do it. This does open. You, I guess, can put the shotgun into his hand for one thing. Or you can just put the box into his hand. That's what I was doing earlier. But you can put the shotgun into his hand. And then... Maybe maneuver this somehow. Kind of fragile with the box because it's cardboard. And then stick that over there. I mean, I guess if you want to. I mean, I don't really know. Like, I think you can display them like this if you wanted to. Just with the box behind it. But I do, I do like the box. It's an extra detail I like. What I was doing was I was just kind of taking the hand piece here. And the box edge right here. And kind of taking the piece right here. Holding the box. Oh, well, that's not going to work. I was working earlier. Today on Edge Scroll Views, we were having a look at the NECA Terminator 2 Judgment Day 3D release of the T800. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.